Hello, Pokemans! This is Astrock13, and it is time for Minecraft. Uh, sorry I haven't posted a video in a couple of weeks, guys. Uh, I'm still in high school, so, yeah, the semester just ended yesterday, actually. And now I'm free for two weeks from that hellhole. <laughs> so today, I'm going to try something special. I'm going to try Seth Bling's Minecraft Fully functioning Rubik's Cube. Look at all that redstone down there. That's insane. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to attempt to solve it. And if I can, I'm also going to try a, a little trick that I, learned how to, that I learned to do with a regular Rubik's Cube. And yes, I do know how to solve them. So let's start off this randomizer. Take a look at it. It's actually turning. And to make sure that, that you guys can't think that I'm cheating, I'm just going to look the other way while I wait. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, to move, to actually rotate them, you have the rotate counterclockwise and rotate clockwise. Basically, you place the block in the center of, of the face and it turns depending on what block you place. Okay, I think that's random enough. Let's get started. Okay, uh, since I can't move this, I'm gonna try solving it from the bottom, from the bottom up. Let's see, there's gotta be some yellow. Ah, I'll rotate that counterclockwise so that it's on the red. And now it's yellow, yellow, red, red, which is good. Let's see, that's on blue, so I'll rotate that. Hmm. Rotate that. Uh, rotate that. Bring that all the way around. Bring it around town! And, uh, move this clockwise. Bring this all the way down. Now we've got three parts of the yellow cross. By the way, to start it off, you have to try and solve the cross on the bottom. Oh, and there's the last uh, one. So let's go do, 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 do. And there we go, we've got the bottom cross. Now let's try and solve the other sides. Okay, let's not the other sides, the corners. Let's see, that's blue and orange, so bring that to the opposite corner. There. Now we bring this counterclockwise, this counterclockwise, this clockwise, and that clockwise. That way it's orange, 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 blue, 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 yellow, yellow, yellow. And all that crap. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Rotate that counterclockwise so that it's with orange and yellow. This is another algorithm that I have to do. 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 And then. Bip. Uh, and then, yeah. Sorry, it's just, this is honestly more difficult because I'm used to being able to move the cube around whenever I want. Uh, bring that to the opposite corner. Uh, red and green, that is correct. So, counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. And yes, you have to place it in the center or else it won't do anything. Uh, let's see, there should be one more yellow corner. There it is. Let's see. Boop. 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 And clockwise. There we go. The first layer is complete. Now let's start working on the second layer. Let's see. That's orange, so rotate that counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Uh, clockwise. 
Clockwise. Clockwise. Clockwise. Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Now those now that piece is in the right spot. Uh let's see. Blue to orange, so that has to be there. Let's see. Clockwise. Counterclockwise. 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 Clockwise. Clockwise. Okay. There should be one more here somewhere. There it is, red and green. Okay. That has then that has to go counterclockwise. Clockwise. 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 Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. And now we've got the bottom two layers solved. Uh, let's see. Now we have to do this algorithm. That one. 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 And that one. That way we have a cross on top while still keeping the same layers. Huh. Sorry about that, my nose itched. <laughs> Rotate that counterclockwise and try to see if we can line up any. That's correct. And so is that. So we've got all of the corners correct. God damn it. I hate it when this happens. <laughs> uh, now we have to rotate this completely around. And just kind of screw up the cube a little bit. But don't worry, it'll be fixed very soon. There. I know it's good, and those of you that know how to solve this, I, this will happen when that, when I do that. So I'm going to do this. Uh, let's see. Where's the yellow? Oh, there it is. Uh, counterclockwise. And now to fix that. There. Now we've got that back. And let's get these other pieces back. Where they belong. Nope, did that. Oh, wait. Never mind. I did that right. Ah, uh, neighbor's dogs are barking. <laughs> Counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there. Now the other one should be out up here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I uh, need to turn that completely around. So that this is over here. Now, clockwise. Counterclockwise. 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 Kill me. <laughs> Never mind. There we go. Bottom two layers are solved once again. And we've got this. So let's do this algorithm again. Yep. Oop, see? It won't do anything unless I place it in the center. There we go. Now rotate that. Orange is working, but not blue, or that, or that. So let's rotate it again. See if any others are working. Red and green. So let's try this. 
Now all these are, are correct. Okay, this corner actually works because it's between green and orange. I, it doesn't matter that it's not white side up right now. I just need to get the other ones correct. You are... You prime? L. And I know it sounds like I'm just saying random letters, but they, they actually do have a purpose. It's uh, basically an abbreviated form of what to do for each step to solve these. Okay, it looks like all the corners are in their correct places. Now we just got them correct. Let's start, start here. D prime R D. R prime, D prime, dang it, R, D. Okay, it's still not the same. R prime, D prime, R, D. Nope. R prime, D prime, R. Okay, that corner is correct, so just rotate that one out. R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. That corner is correct now. R prime, D prime. R D R prime D prime I'll screw that up R D Nope R prime D prime R D and still not correct R prime D prime R That is correct. Move that over. And it looks like I screwed it up, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's see. R prime. D prime. R. D. Finishing it off. D prime. R. R. And D. One turn to go done. Oh yeah, Rubik's Cube solved. Ha! <laughs> huh. And now that we've got that figured out, now let's do that little trick I learned. <laughs> Basically, it'll turn this into a checkerboard, kind of. <laughs> so you rotate this side completely around, then rotate this side completely around, yeah. so that it does yellow, white, yellow. Then same thing on, on this side. Rotate it completely around. Rotate it completely around. Because then it will create this little diagonal pattern. And then you do that on top and bottom. So rotate that completely around. What does that make you think of? Ho ho ho! <laughs> And rotate that completely around. And there you go. You got yourself a Rubik's Cube that is in a checkerboard pattern. Ha. <laughs> huh. I honestly think that's actually pretty cool. And the funny thing is, I didn't look this look that up on the internet or anything. I was just derping with a Rubik's Cube and that happened. And I figured out how to fix it and do it repeatedly. So, yeah. <laughs> uh... Let's fix that quickly. I don't feel like turning that completely around, so I'll just use the reset button. That's over here. Oop. And there we go. Completely fixed. 
Well, uh, if you like the video, like it, favorite, comment, do whatever you can to show some support. Uh, if you're new to the channel, click my hand or give me a high five to subscribe. Ask me questions on Ask.fm and follow me on Twitter. And yeah, that's it for this episode. Catch you later, Pokemans. Return.